yes guys what up i'm back it's your girl lacy dawson if you're new here welcome to the channel and if you're already a subscriber welcome back so yes guys today i'm back with another video for you guys you know i have to do that right so i will be doing a yarn dreadlocks i'm doing it and it is pretty small guys like pretty small so i will be i'll try my best to explain how this is done the procedure so um yeah so without further ado i'm gonna get started right so um when you're doing your yarn locks there are a few things that you're going to be needing things like scissors tape measure your yarn a comb moisturizer to keep your hair moisturized you know because you're gonna be having it under some strands of yarn and your hair needs to be pretty moisturized especially if you're keeping it in for long for a long period highly recommend you keep it moisturized so yeah guys so i started off with just um braiding my client's hair as you can see up the top the small piece i just braided it and then after i braided his hair his natural hair i went ahead and twist it with the yarn locks here you see me attaching another piece of yarn because to get the desired length that i want i had to attach more yarn so that i can get the thickness from the roots straight down to the ends because it's not nice when it's like thick from the root and then the ends are like so skinny so i wanted them to be on the same size so that's why i attached another piece of yarn and here you see me when i reach the desired length that i want i tie a knot at the end to keep to secure the twist so it does not unravel because i'm not twisting immediately i twist and then i wrap so yeah guys so here i'm showing you guys again this is a little more in detail a little more slower i guess so here you see i pass the yarn underneath the braid insert the yeah i pass the yarn underneath the braid sorry guys i can't talk <laughs> i'm just trying i'm trying to explain so yeah i insert uh insert a latch hook underneath the braids brought the la the yarn to the other end so I have even pieces on each side and then I started to twist and then I twist down to the desired length that I want and then I tie a knot to keep it secure. So basically that is what I did throughout the entire head. And if you are trying to do your own hair and you can't braid your hair, you can twist your hair. I, some people say, um, you can just twist it or braid it with the, with the yarn but for me i rather extra security i braid your hair first and then i braid twist it with the yarn that's for me for me i feel more secure doing it like that yeah so that's how i do it and here you see me showing you guys in detail how i attach pieces of yarn to get that desired thickness that i want from the root to the ends of the yarn wrap yeah guys so trust me doing this here was pretty hectic i am telling you whew, there was one point where i was like you know what i am sorry i told you i would do your hair because trust me you have a lot of hair on your head <laughs> literally i was like at one point help i need help oh my god i was i was wow this was a journey and i was like i will never ever 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 do these yarn locks for anybody i'm not doing that ever again because that is a very tedious process and it takes so much time guys oh my god can you believe i spent well i'm not I'm not, let me just say, I'm not fast on doing braids, so it takes me quite some time to get it done. So here you guys can see me, I've started wrapping the hair already. So I am wrapping with three strands. So I use four strands of yarn to twist the hair and then to wrap, I'm using three strands. 
it's very tedious process. It's a very tedious process because you can't twist the yarns together. You have to make sure that they're flat. They're all laying flat so you can twist. And when you're twisting, you have to make sure you twist it very snug so that when you, once you've wrapped and you've cut the excess yarn off and burned the ends, or if you want to leave it like that and you let it loose, it's not, it doesn't get puffy because when you don't twist your yarn properly, it tends to get really puffy after when you finish twisting and then you can literally like see the yarns. I can use my hair as an example. My hair it looks um very puffy. The yarn it's got it got puffy because I didn't tighten when I was twisting it. I didn't twist it tight enough to make it the yarn firm. So yeah, keep in mind when you're doing whatever locks you're doing, dreadlocks with a yarn or with hair. If yeah, other from when you're doing the butterfly locks and stuff. But yeah, you gotta um do it really snug. Can't speak for nothing. <laughs> yeah guys so um i really did enjoy this process it was super fun and exhausting at the same time because he wanted his braids small as you guys can see he wanted his locks to be small he didn't want them big so it took me like forever to finish his hair <laughs> at one point i looked at him and i was like you know what you know what? I feel like just taking the scissors and just cutting everything right out. <laughs> I was so dead serious because I was exhausted, man. But to be honest, I love the final look. The final look was like, yes, it was worth it. Trust me. It was worth it. It was a long way worth of oh, oh, worth. It was a long way to get there, but I got there in the end and then um yeah the after I finished twisting the hair and wrapping the hair and everything I went ahead to give him a trim around the edges you know shape down his hair make it look nice and you know nice guy and stuff get some girls today and yeah but that part that I filmed doing the trimming when I was shaping his hair I accidentally deleted the files oh my god I was because my phone I videoed it on my phone and then my storage my storage was full my phone storage was full so I had to delete some stuff and I went into files so basically my internal storage and stuff and I deleted some stuff and I wrongfully mistakenly deleted that footage and for me that was the most fun part out of this hairstyle literally just giving him that shape up and making him his edges and stuff look nice I was so angry but I do have some clips in the end some not clips just some pictures to show the end results of the look and uh, yeah I think I found a video a little video of it as well of the ending so i'll put that as well in the end part so here you guys are gonna be seeing some pictures of the final look so basically yeah stages and stages yeah so this was it guys this was the end of my video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and have a nice day i'll see you guys in the next one Girl, get in position